and they're off in the Kentucky Derby. The field turns for home. American Pharoah firing line not done yet. Just a boy has won the Kentucky Derby. Ready for the start of the 131st Kentucky Derby. 23-year-olds in line. Spanish chestnut breaking from post 13. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. And Bandini and Spanish chestnut broke, both broke quickly. Bellamy Road is right there with them. And on the far outside, it's going wild. So a stampede under us for the first time. And as expected, it is. Spanish chestnut in front. Three furlongs to go here. They ran three quarters in a bruising 109 and two. And here comes Bellamy Road, who's charging up on the outside. High Fly is moving with him. Spanish chestnut is weakening. A fleet Alex is in behind them. Closing argument is in with the chance there on the outside. Buzzards Bay coming down the middle of the track at the top of the stretch in the Kentucky Derby. High fly, Bellamy Road. Closing argument on the far outside. Here comes a fleet. Alex charging through between horses. Giacomo, don't get mad. Late charge on the far outside. Coming down to the finish. Closing argument, short lead. Giacomo, a fleet Alex. It's a three horse photo finish. And on the wire, it's Giacomo who has won the 100. 31st Kentucky Derby. Close for second closing argument. And the fleet Alex, don't get mad, was fourth. The final time was 2 0 oh, 2 and 3. So it is Giacomo, the winner of the Derby, and the second biggest long shot in the 131 year history of this race. Mike Smith, you finally get your Kentucky Derby. You've worked hard for this moment. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Donna. Was this as great as you would have imagined that it was going to be? Yeah, because he redeemed his father, too. And I said that the first time I got on him when he was two. Mike's referring to Holy Bull, the sire of this horse. And from what I understand, the first time you got on this horse, you said this was your derby horse. That's exactly true. So I had to back it up, and he did it today. Boy, he made us proud, man. He run dynamite. So now you feel like it's been sweet vindication for Holy Bull. Certainly is. Post positions three, four, and nine. Three key entry. Four Sinister Minister, nine Sharp Humor. Those are the three quickest out of the gate that we expect to see the circuit of speed in the Kentucky Derby this year. And they are off in the Kentucky Derby and wasting no time. It is Sinister Minister. And Sharp Humor comes on through in between horses. Toward the outside, Bluegrass Cat is there. Keyed entry toward the rail. And here's that cavalry charge by it for the first time. And it's Sinister Minister, and Keat Entry comes through on his inside. Sharp Humor runs third as they head for the turn. Showing up his fourth, Barbro's fifth in between horses. Sinister Minister is second as they approach the half-mile pole going into that far turn. Sweet Northern Saint has picked his way through the pack. He's down on the inside fourth. Barbro in the clear, poised as they move into the far turn. And he's moving out to be fourth now, showing up his fifth. Bluegrass Cat is sixth, and he's called out for more run as they run the far turn. There goes Sinister Minister. Three quarters in ten and four, and it's Sinister Minister. And here comes Barbaro. The undefeated Barbaro comes up on the outside, and he takes the lead as the field turns for home in the Kentucky Derby. Barbaro turns it on, and his stablemate showing up in second. Bluegrass Cat is third. Brother Derek putting in a late run on the far outside. Steppenwolfer is fifth. And Sweet Northern Saint sits toward the rail, but they're coming to the finish, and it is all Barbaro in a sublime performance. He runs away from them all, and he has saved something left for the Preakness. Barbaro wins by seven. Bluegrass Cat was second, Steppenwolf was third. Three-way photo for fourth. Boy, this was a terrific performance by Barbaro today. In the gate. Kentucky Derby! And it's Joint of the Dance who's racing for the lead. Musket Man has some early speed on the inside. Here's Regal Ransom with some speed as well. Beneath the Twin Spires the first time. Regal Ransom and Joint of the Dance will vie for the early lead. Pioneer of the Nile is right up there. And that's Papa Clem down toward the inside. He's now fourth. There's a party. Forwardly placed fifth on the outside. Flying Private is sixth. Freezing Fire in and among horses is now seventh. Musket Man is eighth. Dunkirk is ninth on the outside. Then farther back down on the rail, that is uh, Atomic Rain, uh, running in the 11th position, two lengths back, and General Quarters is now 12th. Nowhere to hide is 13th on the outside. West side, Bernie is now, now down toward the rail, and then on the outside, at the back of the pack, beginning to move up now, is uh, Hold Me Back. Advice is also right there toward the back of the pack, along with Chocolate Candy, Summerbird, 
at vice, the last of them all is Mr. Hot Stuff. So down the back stretch run, or even be fine, be well behind the rest of them, is mind that bird. So down the back stretch run, and join in the dance. An impudent long shot leader here, 50 to 1, taking the field through an opening half mile that was strong as the field turns for home. Top of the stretch, it's still joined in the dance with a tenuous lead. Regal Ransom and Pioneer of the Nile strike the front just outside the eight pole. Musket Man is coming hard down the side of the track, and Papa comes right there too. Down toward the inside, coming on through. That is uh, my that bird now is coming on to take the lead as they come down to the finish. And a spectacular, spectacular upset. My that bird has won the Kentucky Derby. An impossible result here. And a three-way photo for second among Musket Man. High in air the Nile, oh, Papa well. Club. Calvin Borrell has done it again. Calvin Borrell, that's what they call him at Churchill Downs for his penchant for coming through on the inside. We saw him do it with Street Sense, and here we saw him do it on Mind That Bird in the final strides exploding through on the rail to pull a monumental upset at 50 to 1. 50 to 1. Mind That Bird and Calvin Burrell with a huge upset. The second biggest upset in Derby history. Calvin, oh my God. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. You won the Oaks and the Derby. You just said I love you too. My mom and daddy. Who are no longer with us. I went to you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I can only be here. to see what I accomplished in my life. Calvin, I can't imagine how proud they would be of you. What's it mean to you to win your second Kentucky Derby in two years? It's unbelievable. It's been a long, long road, but it's paying off, baby. And here comes the Nick Zito long shot from Mento up to the outside stall. They're all in line. We're ready for the start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. And American Pharaoh broke okay. He's on the outside of horses, and Dortmund is out even better. And Carpe Diem is there, and firing lines in the early mix, too. It's going to be Dortmund to set the pace here in the Kentucky Derby. Firing line on the outside is second. American Pharaoh is third to the outside of them. And they're rounding the far turn, and Dortmund is the leader. He's on top by a half length, and firing line confronts him. And American Pharaoh has come under a ride as firing line takes the lead outside of Dortmund. Dortmund. Here comes American Pharaoh, and he sweeps up on the far outside, and they're into the stretch, and it's American Pharaoh who has taken the lead on the outside. In between horses, it's firing line. Dortmund is down at the rail as they come into the final furlong. American Pharaoh, firing line, not done yet, and these two come into the final 16th. It's American Pharaoh in front, firing line. Dortmund is third, Frostman is fourth, coming to the finish. American Pharaoh and Victor Espinosa have won the Kentucky Derby. Firing line was second, Dortmund was third, Frostman finished fourth. In a final time of two minutes, three point zero two seconds, Victor Espinosa has won the Kentucky Derby two years in a row. Victor, you've just won your third Kentucky Derby. Two years in a row. Are you feeling pretty lucky right now? Yes, I am. I feel like the luckiest Mexican on earth. <laughs> They're all in line, and we are ready for the start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. And Justify had a good beginning. The expected pace setter promises fulfilled will go out to lead them. Justify is right after him, and both Toro is close and just to the outside of them. As they make their way into the far turn, there goes Justify. Justify takes the lead as they round the far turn. He opens up now to a length. Both Doro comes after him. Good magic is in the midst of his rally, and it's a three-wide bit toward Justify as they make their way toward the top of the stretch. Justify and Good Magic start to pull away from the others, and they're into the stretch. And it's Justify and Mike Smith turning for home in front. Good Magic and Jose Ortiz a length behind as they come into the final furlong. Bravazos down the center of the track, and then Audible on the inside is now up in a third. Justify a two-length lead as they come to the final 16th. Good Magic on the outside is second. Audible third toward the inside, then it's still regard. They're coming to the wire. He's just awesome. Justify has won the Kentucky Derby. It was very close for a second. Audible may have got there inside of Good Magic, then it's still regard in a final time of two minutes four. 0.20 seconds, he's still undefeated. 
For the first time in 136 years, a horse who did not race as a two-year-old has won the Kentucky Derby. Justify with Hall of Famer Mike Smith, who wins his second Kentucky Derby. And we're ready for the start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Maximum security and Vacola had good beginnings, and they go out to the early lead at long range. Tani's close to, and there goes Bodie Express on the outside into the early mix. So they will lead the way early on. Game winner is wide on the turn, beginning to pick up his stride near the back of the pack. But maximum security continues to lead the way. Midway on the far turn, he's a length and a half in front. War of Will is second. Long range, Toddy third and four wide and moving up. Is Country House's Booty Express plummets through the field. And here comes Code of Honor. And he bursts through an opening on the inside of Maximum Security. And they're into the stretch. Country House on the outside. Code of Honor down toward the rail. Maximum Security keeps on fighting. War of Will is there too as they come to the final furlong. It is Country House on the outside. Maximum Security so dead game. He keeps battling on. Maximum Security. Country House went two down to the line. who was closing late inside of Tacitus. It's maximum security. He's never lost a race, and he wins it under Luis Saez. It was my dream. My dream come true. That's very exciting, you know? I just feel so glad. Jason, our left owners, give me this opportunity, and we rode this champion here. He's, he's a runner. There is an objection that has been posted on the board, so it is unofficial for the moment. There you see the unofficial order of finish. So when you get a situation like this, Barbara Borden, who we heard from earlier, chief steward for the state of Kentucky, they have to make a decision. Did they see anything that clearly impeded the horse and is something that's worth impacting the result of the race, taking down the result of the race, where it happened and what you saw? What would you guys say as they talk to the jockeys who then get on the phone with the chief steward upstairs. Long range Toddy also got bothered pretty significantly here. He was just to the outside of War of Will. You see the white face, white silks behind. But he was stopping already. Right. It's not going to affect how he uh, ended up in the race. And Number to be clear, the objection is only with 7 and 20. Correct. Maximum Correct. security, the Correct. winner, and Country House, who finished second. That's why those two jockeys are on the phone. Now, there it got just, just a touch it, tight, it, but that's nothing. It's very hard for me to say that number 20 was impeded. I just don't think he was. And keep in mind, there's never been a disqualification from first in the history of the Kentucky Derby. Look, we're waiting to see if maximum security could cross the line first. For Gary and Mary West has been disqualified. But will Country House at 65 to 1 be the winner of the Kentucky Derby? They disqualified it. They did. So for the first time in the history of the Kentucky Derby, the horse that crossed the line first has been disqualified. After the objection, Country House wins the Kentucky Derby with Flavian Pratt at 65 to 1. One of the longest shots in history to win the Derby. After one of the longest waits ever after the Derby.